Hi guys, welcome to Oxano. Today is day nine. I'm super excited to have you here today. If it's your first time seeing my face, hearing my voice, my name is Chisum and I am your growth guide. If you're clicking this and assuming that you want to grow, I want to take your devotional culture seriously in this phase and I'm here to walk you through that. So Oxano, that's this devotional, has lasted for nine days so far. This is the second cohort and yeah, we've been growing. So yesterday I talked about Ephesians 3 and I gave you assignments. The assignment was to read Ephesians 3 again and to pray. So let me know in the comment section if you already did that. If you are not familiar with what the assignment was, you can always catch up on our previous videos and just be brought up to speed on what the devotional has been about so far. One of the things I talked about yesterday was how discouragement is not foreign to our work as believers. And when I put together the video and even released it, I didn't realize that I would quickly need to learn from my own words. Doing Oxano has been exciting. It has been an honor. I'm so privileged to be able to do this. But <laughs> like you, I have so many things to do on any given day. And there are days where I am so excited about doing everything. And there are some days where I am just tired and I want a break and I just want to be a baby girl and have nothing to do. And yesterday was one of such days. I was just tired of the things that I, I was usually more willing to do, right? So this is an honest take on that. So it's okay to feel tired. It is okay to not feel enthusiastic about things that you would normally love to do, even when it regards your devotion. But one thing I have learned about growth is growth is not dependent on feelings if you let your growth depend on your feelings you won't grow well if you only give a child food or water when they want food or water or when they feel like eating food or water that child will either be dehydrated or malnourished or both so in the same vein that sometimes you just need to show up and you don't feel like showing up but showing up regardless is a sign of growth. So I am growing here as well. And um, I just took learnings from Paul when he wrote the letter to the Ephesian church. He had every reason to be discouraged, yet he was more concerned about his audience. He was more concerned about the people that could have been discouraged by his own situation. So Paul was an encouragement to me yesterday to show up again for Oksano and I am praying that my consistency here helps you show up even more for yourself in Jesus name. Amen. So on Sunday I asked you guys to read Ephesians 4 and I'm going to take a lesson from there for our devotional for today. Ephesians 4 verse 1 talks about Paul again. He says, I Paul, a servant of the Lord, a prisoner for serving the Lord Jesus. I am writing to you to walk worthy of the call of God. And you need to realize that Paul was not writing to a group of ordained ministers or a group of pastors. When we started Ephesians 1, we identified who the audience of the letter Ephesians was. The audience was the, the church at Ephesus, believers at Ephesus. So he wasn't writing to a group of ministers somewhere they were believers so what then could he have meant by the call of god now peter uses similar terminology in first peter 2 9 when he says you are a royal priesthood a holy nation and you have been called out of darkness into god's marvelous light so later on in first peter 2 verse 9 to 11 Peter starts to talk about how they should then let go of all forms of worldliness. And he lists some things even later down in the chapter. So the call of God there is very specific. It is not referring to the um, ordination kind of call. It's referring to the call first and foremost to salvation out of darkness into light. For the church at Ephesus, he was referring to how God had called them from being 
just Gentiles separate from him and not knowing him to people who have been welcomed into his family. That was the call. And walking worthy of that call means you live a life pleasing of the one who has paid a price for your life. I'll take that again. Walking worthy of the Lord means you live a life pleasing to the one who has paid a price for your life. So this brings me to your assignment for today. I want you to go back again and read Ephesians 4. If you read it on Sunday, thumbs up to you. But I want you to go back again and read Ephesians 4. And I want you to read it in light of the fact that you are admonished to live a life worthy of the Lord. Now, Ephesians 4 lists some ways that you can live a life worthy of the Lord. And I want you to read that chapter and identify those ways that you can walk worthy of the Lord. If I was doing this assignment, which I would, what I would do is when I open Ephesians 4, for instance, verse 2 says, be humble and gentle. I will write, I can walk worthy of the Lord by being humble and gentle. Under that, I'll say, hmm, am I really humble? Are there places in my life that show that I am not humble? Would I call myself a gentle person? Now, being gentle doesn't mean that if you are an extrovert, you can't be bubbly, none of that. It talks more about your spirit, having a gentle spirit, okay? So I want you to take your time and go through Ephesians 4 and write down the stains. Don't speed read it, I beg you. Take time and read it and just marinate in those words. I, I, I told you that when you read the Bible, you could either acknowledge or apply. Now, I know that this was not written specifically to you because you are not a believer in Ephesus. But the things that were written here largely, largely apply to you. So I want you to, for a second, imagine that this letter was written to you. And I want you to sink into everything that Ephesians 4 has to say. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And please, please, please do it. It's an important part of your task today. The second task I have for you is to pray. I am going to pray for 30 minutes. The time, the, the time I've been sharing has been increasing steadily for the past few days, and it's intentional. I want you to grow in prayer particularly because of the task I give to you. It is not easy for you to identify gaps in your life and areas that you can do better. And that's what I want, that's why I want you to pray. So if for instance, you see um, verse two that says, be humble and you identify that there are places of your life or places in your life where you are not exactly humble or you're struggling to be humble, take it to the Lord in prayer today. Trust me, 30 minutes is not as long as you think, especially if you watch seasonal movies. It's not as long as you think. Set the timer and pray. And what I do when I set timers for myself, let's say I set the timer for 30 minutes and I want to pray. I intentionally let the timer run over. So when it runs over, I intentionally add five more minutes. It, it disciplines my heart to stay longer than I intend to in prayer and I want you to try it for yourself today. You are stretching and that's what good looks like. So I'm rooting for you. You can always find help on the accountability group. If you need someone to pray with, join the accountability group and someone will be willing to join you to pray. I may be that someone today, but please, please reach out if you need help. I love you all very much. I am praying for your progress. I'm praying for your growth in the Lord and Cheers. Have a good field day. See you tomorrow at Aksana B10. Bye.